My name is Carlos Oliveira. I'm known as Brother Carlos. I'm probably the craziest exorcist out there. Because I do stuff that the average ones don't. I go into situations that the average don't. I do what I do because of a passion that I have in my heart and obviously a calling from my God in heaven. What got me into performing exorcisms was a situation that happened in 1989 when a woman who was possessed by evil spirits began punching me and I did not know what to do. I had no clue about evil spirits. You know, we were doing a seminar in a church and I called for help and my, my friends came and performed an exorcism on that woman. Then I saw the woman who was thrown to the floor by the demonic get up and just walk away as if nothing had happened. And when that happened, I felt I was called. I felt there was a calling in my life to be helping people spiritually. I'm Carlos, Brother Carlos, how are you doing? Good, um, my name is Lori. When I meet people in need of deliverance, I usually start with an investigation. I wanna know what they're feeling, when did that happen, what is that that happened that brought those problems upon their lives? I still struggle with smoking. Okay. I'm diabetic and insulin dependent. Mm -hmm. And I have um, stomach problems a lot of the time. Now, based on what they tell me, I can also perceive that there, there may be other things related to those. Then I start asking questions. Have you ever had any encounter with evil spirits? Then that's when I find out where the demonic is residing and why they are in. I had to renounce witchcraft uh, because I was introduced to witchcraft. After the investigation, when I know the kind of spirits that are there, then I proceed to perform an exorcism. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we just come before your holy throne. Thank we ask you, that you Jesus. forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Exorcism is the casting out of evil spirits. Some people call deliverance. No weapon formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. When I confront demons in people, I usually start out by making eye contact. Why? Because the eyes are the windows of the soul. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command every demonic spirit, principalities and powers assigned against this woman right now to surface. From there, I began calling names. I already know some of the demons that are there by that time. Then I began, I go after them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you now to loose this woman. Loose her in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. That's when, in some cases, people start manifesting, screaming, falling to the, the floor. In Jesus' mighty name, feel the torment right now on you. So now I know I'm in control. Now I know I'm in charge of the game. So now I know exactly what to do to get those creatures out of those people. Come out now, demons that have been causing this woman to suffer so much. Get out, get out. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. I don't go by the book. I don't go by the right of exorcism. I just get to the demons right away. Feel the fire burning every single one of you unclean spirits. Leave this woman right now. Today is the day of her redemption. During the process of exorcism, I always encounter resistance from the demonic because in some cases they've been there for so many years. In their minds, they own that body. They own that person. They own that soul. That's why they resist in some cases. Sometimes they communicate. They speak in the third person. Evil spirits, I'm talking to you. You made her sell voodoo dolls, didn't you? Yes or no? Make them. And put curses on people. Who's talking to me right now? The witchcraft demon. Witchcraft demon is talking, huh? You see, I don't, I don't let their mind game play 
games with my mind. Look at my eyes, witchcraft. I am commanding you. I am commanding you now. Look in my eyes. I already know that demons are liars and they are losers. When they say I'm not leaving, I say, who do you think you are? You are leaving. I'm gonna kill you like I Oh, you're gonna kill who? Times. You're gonna kill who? You. Who do you think you are? It doesn't happen many times, but sometimes demons say they're gonna kill me. They said that before, I'm still alive. They said that 20 years ago, I'm still alive. Nicotine, you cannot live inside this body anymore. Nicotine, you cannot. What? I said, get out of me. I'm tired of battling it. When I pull the demon out, what I normally do is I bind them, I handcuff them, and I restrain them because I want to forbid them from coming back. Come out now and go to the pit. Right now in Jesus' mighty name, go! I want to send the demon out. I want to send the demon away, but I want to make sure that demon is restrained for eternity. Lori, come up here, Lori. Talk to me. Lori, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, people know the kind of problems they're going through. Skeptics out there can't, you know, pinpoint what other people are going through. Jesus loves you so much. I okay? Know. I love you. He loves you so much, he hasn't forgotten about you. You are his child. Okay? Even though people may reject you, but Jesus never rejected you. I know. So these people, they know what they're facing is real. So that's why you see that emotional uh, reaction from someone like crying, you know, because the person is feeling relief. Who knows, maybe for the first time in several years. Abuse, abandonment, rejection, come out. There are people out there that choose not to believe, but you know, what somebody's feeling is what they're feeling. You cannot say they're not feeling that. So it brought me joy to see Lori feel better and feel like a, a relief. You had pain when you came in? Yes. You have no pain right now? No. Now she was able to see the spirit that were oppressing her for so long and now being cast out. So you, the demons are gone, okay? And I feel at peace. You feel peace, and okay? I feel free. What a joy to see someone like Lori you know, get that kind of freedom in, and go back home with less stress than she had when she came in. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Oh, Harabala Shuri. Amen. It felt like an amazing experience because I was in pain. All the pain has got out of my body. And I truly believe that Jesus used Brother Carlos to set me free. I choose not to doubt. When people tell me their stories, I know they're real. I know what they're feeling is real. I know that. So that's why I do what I do, and I love helping as many people as I can. And I will continue doing this for as long as I live. Amen?